Ladies and gentlemen, to Beautiful Dorado, where we see two teams setting it up. Today we have a match, Team Zeki versus Team Holte. Team Holte defending against Team Zeki, who are apparently going with a very, very aggressive approach. We'll see how it works today. And we're off as the payload starts moving around the first corner. Limaledu leading the charge on his beautiful Reinhardt. Very, very aware of the fact that he needs to keep as much of his shield as he possibly can. And there are the first two picks. Zeki going down to Artemis while Artemis biting the dust herself. Island healing up the main tank as Holte and Warphobia are really using that sneaky setup they have to get Dr. Freeze out of his well run for the corners but he still makes it and now the red team is really starting in team blue split through the middle absolutely fa fantastically done here by the attacking team splitting the defenders in half and pushing the advantage as Zeki goes almost goes down but heals up can cool going down no being healed fantastically by these two healers who are doing a great job Dr. Freestyle healing up now with a point advantage of a four versus a five players right Right now, the payload mercilessly moving forward. Lemeledo guarding his rear as Warphobia sets up for a last botch descent here on the first point. Zeki trying to catch Ninja Dog out. There is the ultimate. Huge May ultimate on the first point. First point easily going to the red team. There is nothing that Team Holter can do here to stop this first approach. Oh, there's the ultimate, ultimate incoming from Artemis, but oh, Limelidu manages to survive that, mainly due to Island's great healing right there. Fantastically done. Artemis trying to hold it off all on herself, but then goes down to the onslaught of DPS that she has to face as the payload goes through the gate into towards the second point. Dr. Freeze going for the flanking move that could be potentially huge as he sets up the ultimate, takes out the front line. Warphobia going down, Holte going down to Island as and trying, trying by getting the Titamari down. Fantastically done with that great flank as the attacking team just moves up. Team Zeki absolutely in control of the pace right now. Bad Panda fighting Zeki off very hard, knowing what kind of devastation a good mate can do, going down to Kalku, who is once again on point with his bombs Warphobia now alone on the point only supported by Holte in the far side as the payload comes around the corner Limeledu just sailing that thing straight onto the second point incoming there the boost from Warphobia well done Bob and just out of range of that as it is taken down by Limeledu Ninja Dogs uh, Bob doing work here taking out Dr. Freeze uh, it's taking out Limeledu but Carl Cool making some room as he takes one of the two tanks out while well, the other one is barely being pelted by Zeki Island here is showing some very good positioning against Warphobia and the wall is coming up Warphobia there is no way that Warphobia will actually get out of that for Team Holte as Team Zeki takes the second point and does not relent immediately moving in there is the ultimate, there is the ultimate for Artemis on the defending team, and Limalidu survives it again! This man must have nine lives! It's Limalim Meow as he survives that second tire without going even an inch back, slowly pulling back. Zeki coming in together with Limalidu and Island. Titamari healing Zeki out of it as she knows that this is one of the greatest things to do. Keep your May alive and your May will keep the team pushing. Island going for the flanking move. Holte not falling for it. Very cleverly done as Ninja Dog tries to, try, uh, tries to hold the flanking route. Trying to hold the choke alone versus three people and biting the short end of the stick. Dr. Freeze putting some put shots in there. Trying to get that payload back into the moving business. Now very aggressive on a defensive team as Bat Panda goes down, Urzum goes down. Oh, Team Holt is without healers as Artemis is being pelted, going down to the first strike for Limaledu, who immediately takes the advantage of that. Limaledu into Warphobia. Warphobia going down against five people as the payload starts moving again. And we move into the actual room. Fantastically done, though. But Team Holte is not done yet. Team Holte setting up a new defense point as they are trying 
going to get Dr. Freeze devastatingly out of the air. Ninja Dog doing that in an impressive manner. Fantastically done here. Lemelay do take, take, taking a bit of a roof surf moment here as they try to push it around the corner. Warphobia is setting up very aggressively together with Artemis and Bat Panda healing them all. And then there's the Graviton. Fantastically done. Oh, Dr. Freeze countering with a huge ultimate here. As the, as the payload going down, fantastic done. Island still uh, still trying to keep the t trying to keep the defenders away from Team Zeki as they come around the last corner. Titamari healing and pushing the payload. Very great positioning right there as the Zeki ult comes out. Fantastic may that man plays. It is absolutely Artemis taking down two, giving some hope to the defending team. Team Holte, Holte, Azun and Artemis trying to defend against the might that is the red team and Titamari coming up with the ult trying to keep a team alive oh hoo, hoo, the May gets pelted away and slept at the same time fantastic sleep by Azun who is doing a great job against all odds of keeping this relatively hit point weaker team together against a very aggressive and damage heavy red attacking team Carl Kuhl bringing his signature bringing his signature moves in here but dying to Artemis in a fantastic Junkrat battle that could have gone on for ages. Very entertaining to see. All right, let's see what let's see what Team Zeki does as they come back in. They are slowly creeping up. Let's see what their setup will be for this next attack. 3 minutes 30 on the clock. So they have enough time to try a couple of approaches. But immediately they're going for the main approach. Being pelted by Warphobia. Now switching to the Diva. Just laying in the rocket into that massive Reinhardt shield. Trying to set an advantage up in the defense. As they are covered by natural defenses. Bob going in there in that small room. That's potentially devastating. But not made, making a lot of difference. But Artemis coming in with the double kill. Titamari taking up Island immediately. At least getting the healing back on track. As the attacking team, Team Zeki, is trying to find a small hole. But Artemis will not allow that. And takes another healer down. Warphobia now frozen. Being helped by Holte. As they try to keep the attacking team out of their base. Oh, Warphobia might be in big trouble there. Four people on Warphobia. She out of mech. But get Gets actually out of the old May old by Holte, who has a fantastic bubble right straight up there. Dr. Freeze going in aggressively. Bad Panda with a great flanking ultimate. Trying to keep trying to keep the supremacy in there. Fantastic. The, uh, the payload hasn't moved in quite a while. We're another minute down at 2 minutes 16. Bad Panda still alive. Trying to fight Zeki. Lemelidu and Carl Kuhn and surviving. Oh god, the things he does. 5,000 hit point Moira finally goes down as the attacking team is for the first time pushing into the last point Freezy Pop waiting it off and there's another tire that is coming in this time for the attacking team taking up two defenders Ertz and Holte down Artemis going down Warphobia out of mech and going out of mini the last inches are coming this is interesting can they actually do something will the Bob do something Ninja Dog on the point all by himself Ninja Dog still keeping alive well fantastically done as Ertz comes in Ertz and Holte Holte coming in with the old Ertz and Holte are really trying to make this work but there is not enough DPS to work the Graviton search. Warphobia now back. Artemis now back. The, the the payload hasn't moved in a bit, and there is an ultimate. There is a diva bomb. Diva bomb not hitting anything as Bad Panda is still trying to keep everything together, T taking out Titamari who reses Island just after he was killed. Fantastically done, Bad Panda coming in with another ult. He gets his ult so fast, but gets C9'd off the point. Intense games, ladies and gentlemen, as the opener of this night series. And this was a fantastic victory for Team Zeki and the Red Attacking Team who have taken up and kept the tempo for a long time before finally reaching their end goal. Patrick, I have a question? Yeah. Do you I have four lungs, mate. <laughs>